We're on the north side of Shehalian, and under my feet is part of the Shehalian boulder bed. So this is an ancient glacial till deposit. So you can see that there are large blocks, large clasts that are sitting inside a finer ground mass. And these are drop stones that have come from the bottom of a glacier that was sitting on water. Okay? And this is about 650, 700 million years old during what's called the Cryogenian. So this was a global period of ice age when pretty much all the continents were covered with ice. A lot of the oceans were covered with ice and that limited communication between the atmosphere and the oceans. So any CO2 that was produced at spreading ridges was trapped in the oceans and didn't get into the atmosphere. So there was a drawdown of greenhouse gases from the atmosphere and that kept it cold. Kept it cold for tens or hundreds of millions of years. So this is a global thing. We actually have really nice cryogenian deposits across Scotland. This is, as I say, a glacial till deposit. When the Ice Age ended, or when Ice Ages ended, as it gradually starts to warm up, the ice that was covering the ocean surface melted, and that allowed communication between the oceans and the atmosphere. And that then, of course, means that the CO2 is released from the oceans. So you get a very rapid increase in greenhouse gases, and that then feeds into the warming cycle. You get very, very warm conditions very rapidly. That CO2 reacted with the rock dust that was produced by the glacial erosion and produced large amounts of carbonate. So at the top of these ice sequences, you would expect to see cap carbonate deposits. And in fact, here, just downstream of this, sitting on top of the, these cryogenian rocks, there are cap carbonates, dolomites, and metamorphosed carbonates, which sit on top of these in stratigraphic order, they sit on top of this. And this is probably one of these cap carbonates associated with the release of CO2 when finally the ocean starts to communicate with the atmosphere again.